Good afternoon. In this video, we're going to run through a quick way of cleanly reinitializing a position register. So you can see here is an original piece of code uh, where I have my ins and outs, robot out, suction off. This is a making sure that the program starts with my suction cup off. Um, and then we have some position registers. So you can see I'm palletizing these boxes here so that means I'm going to be doing a lot of offsets and before I start any program I want to make sure that these offsets are clear from any other previous offsets that may be inside those so you can see I have position register number 11 and number 2 number 11 I use for my offsets to offset my box over and position register number 2 I use for my tool offset so you can see I'm clearing every single portion of that position register so the position register has six positional items it has the X Y Z W P R and it's in that order X is 1 so this is doing X, which is 1, 2 is Y, 3 is Z, 4 is W, 5 is P, and then 6 is R. So each one of those items inside that position register number 11, I'm resetting to 0 to make sure that my offsets start and start correctly. Same thing with my tool offsets. I'm clearing every single portion in my tool offset except the Z component, which is number 3. I'm changing it to 50. So you can see if you have many offsets or many position registers that you're using and that you're shifting, this code can get pretty long. So let's run through a looping method in order to get the same exact thing but in less lines of code. So you can see I have a new variable initialization. So I copied this program so that I have basically the same thing, but now we're going to redo this as a for loop. So I copied my program, so now I have variable initialization number two, and I have the exact same thing, and I don't have anything inside my position registers. So let's do the exact same thing as you saw in the previous program, but with a for loop. So let's go inside here, let's go new instruction, let's arrow over to the four and four, and we're going to do four, and we're going to use register whatever you want to do count. I use number one for the counter, so register number one, and again, this is just a data holding register. So we're going to start at a constant number one, which is my X component, and then we are going to a constant number six, which is the R component. So we have again, X, Y, Z, W, P, R. So we're going to be counting between one and six. Then what we're going to do is we're going to go registers, register equal to, and we're going to go register IJ. So we're going to use position register number 11, which is my offset. So you can see it says offset here. And then we're going to use an indirect method here. So we're going to use indirect. So we're going to use register number one, which is keeping that count. And then we're going to set all these equal to zero. And then we're going to end that for loop. And right there, we did in three lines of code that we did in six lines of code in the previous program. So what's going to happen here is it's going to take register number one. It's going to count starting at one. So it sets counter equal to one. It's going to take position register number 11, which I use for my offset. Part one, which is the X component, is going to set it equal to zero. Then it's going to jump back up here. Register one is now going to equal to two. It's going to take position register number 11, part two, which is the Y component, and set it equal to zero. Jumps back. Part three, so it sets counter equal to three. Register number 11, which is my offsets. Part three is the Z component. We're setting it equal to zero. Then we're going to do four, five, six. Again, the same thing. We're setting them all equal to zero. Okay, so now everything inside here is now going to be set to zero. For example, if I go inside my data here and there's my counter right now, it's at six. And then I go to my position registers. Here's number 11. Let's go inside this. And then let's just change these to something before this. So I'm going to go maybe 100. Some number, it doesn't really matter because it's going to reset it as zero. There we go. So I cleared everything and made it all 100. So I'm going to go done. So here's my position register offsets. 
position. These are our numbers. Okay, so let's go through and run this program now. So I'm going to go cycle start. Okay, program ends because basically this happens almost instantaneously. But if I go back to data now and then go back to position register number 11 and go to position, notice how they're all zero. Okay, so let's do the same thing for our tool offset. So we do the exact same thing or I can copy this. So I can go four, four and register number one, which I'm going to use as a counter. And I'm going to count again one to six. Okay, one to six. And I'm going to go inside here and I'm going to new instruction registers equal to. And I can go register IJ and we're going to use number two, which is my tool offset. And I'm going to go indirect register number one, which I'm using for the counter. And then I'm going to set that equal to zero. Okay, so then inside there, I'm going to go the N4. So there we go. Now it clears everything in my tool offsets. And if I want to have a certain number for my tool offset, I can just go inside there and go registers equal to my position register number two, third component, which is the Z component. And I can make that a constant 50. Okay, so I now initialize my third component of the tool offset, which starts out at zero, and then I'm initializing it as 50. Okay, so you can see I can go in there or I could write a piece of code inside here that if register number one is equal to three, then we're going to set it equal to 50. So I can easily do that inside there or we can do this inside here. Again, I'm trying to do the least amount of code. So if I do an if statement inside there, then I'm going to do more code than if I just reinitialize it to what I want it to be right outside here. So it initializes that at 50. So let's go to data. Let's go up to the tool offset. Go inside here. And then I'm going to again make this a bunch of numbers. It really doesn't matter because we are initializing it as zero and then reinitializing everything at something else. So when we go done here, obviously that will give us an error because we can't have those angles on our robot, but it doesn't matter. So I'm going to go select here and I'm going to enter in that program. I'm going to run that program. There we go. Instantaneously done. And let's go back into our tool offset position register position. There we go. Zero, zero, 50, zero, zero, zero. So you can see very, very quickly we did a very quick program to initialize and run through to make sure that our position register offsets, including the offsets for my box, as well as my tool offsets are equal to zero starting out before we even start the program. So that's just a quick coding method of clearing your position registers.